Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So this time I'm back with another video with this beautiful TV. This is the LG C9 OLED 4K HDR TV with a 55 inch version. This is from back to 2019, so it's not that old. But of course, there's a newer model coming up pretty soon, the C10 or the CX. And on my previous videos, guys, I connected this TV with my Xbox One X and I show you some of the settings that I'm using and also variable refresh rate, which, by the way, I wanted to clarify something. When I did that video in the beginning, I didn't have all the updates from this TV, but then the new update came out, which fixes the problems that I was having. I was having blackouts using FreeSync. So now with the newest update, that is pretty much gone there is no more issues anymore so i just wanted to clarify that i also tested the 1440p with 120 hertz refresh rate with the xbox one x and then and then on my next video i also connected this tv with my pc and i show you guys how to set it up how to use the lowest input lag possible and also i tested different resolutions and HDR with this TV and on PC looks beautiful, looks fantastic. So if you want to take a look at those videos and find out more about how this works and everything, I'm going to leave links or maybe some cards on top. But in the meantime, guys, this time I connected this TV with my PlayStation 4. Now, I used to have the PlayStation 4 Pro, but it broke down on me about a year ago. So I just decided to buy the new the regular PlayStation 4 because the new PlayStation 5 is supposed to come out by the end of this year. So I'm not, I wasn't going to spend another $400 in a machine that didn't last me that long. So I just rather wait, but I still have some games. And I also wanted to show you how this works with a machine that is only capable of doing 1080p, right? How the upscaling works. And uh, we're going to talk about all this in this video. So welcome to the channel, guys. I'm Jolster. Sit back, relax, and let's do this. So here I am with the PlayStation 4 guys and I also wanted to try, first I wanted to try Horizon Zero Dawn because this game looks beautiful. I remember playing this on my PlayStation 4 Pro and now on the regular PlayStation 4 in this TV, gosh my goodness. Honestly, I can't even tell the difference if I had the Pro and, the, and this regular PS4 together with this TV, I wouldn't even be able to tell the difference which one is what because this TV does such a great job upscaling the image in here that it is really hard to tell any difference, to be honest. Also, one more thing, guys. This supports HDR. And of course, I mean, HDR does make an improvement. I'm going to show you right now the difference between SDR and HDR. So right now I'm running with HDR. Let me show you how this looks with SDR. So now this is with SDR and right away I notice how the colors look more flat. There is no highlights. Also contrast and black levels are pretty much gone. This is a noticeable difference, especially on this game. Let me switch back to HDR so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here is back with HDR and right away I can notice, especially the black levels and the contrast looks so much better. Also the colors are more vibrant, there's more highlights. So that is what it makes the difference between SDR and HDR. And I can tell right away with this game. So let me show you what settings I'm using right here on my PlayStation real quick. It's very simple. The PlayStation is very, very simple. It, you don't have that many options as when you have it with the, uh, with the Xbox. So let me go back to what the hell did I just missed it? Oh, there it is over here. I have pretty much everything in automatic. As you guys notice, this is with HDR, of course. And also over here in video output information, you guys can see the resolution. This is running at 1080p, 60 Hertz and HDR is supported. So with the PlayStation, everything is a little bit more easier, more simple than when the PC or Xbox. So 
So here I'm playing God of War right here on the PlayStation 4. And let me tell you, this looks beautiful. As always, this game also implements HDR. Very good, in my opinion. Very, very good. So here, let me show you some of my settings that I'm using on the TV. I know some of you guys want to know what settings I'm using, right? Well, this game, <laughs> this is the beginning of the game. It's probably one of my favorite parts. Of course, if you already play this game, you're gonna notice, recognize which part is this, right? I also connected my soundbar. This is the sound from my soundbar. I have the Nakamichi Shockwave Elite 7.2.4 and wow it sounds excellent i love how this sounds all right well this may look a little dark right here on the camera but trust me guys, this TV can get very, very bright. So before I go up there in the fight, let me show you the settings that I'm using on this TV. I'm going to go into the picture settings real quick. And then I'm using game mode, all right? So before you go into here, I show you this before, but you got to make sure that you turn on HDR right here in the HDMI Ultra HD deep color. So make sure you go in there and that HDR is selected. I'm using HDMI number one. You guys notice the toggle is to on, and that's it. And then instant game response, of course, it's all selected so I can get the lowest input lag possible. Let's go into the picture settings real quick. And then I say, as I mentioned, I'm using game mode, HDR. These are the settings that I'm using. Uh, I prefer my OLED to be all the way up. Contrast is all the way up uh, as well. Then brightness, someone uh, brought this up to me the other day and they told me that HDR with the newest update kind of like messed up the contrast and black levels with brightness. So brightness, I noticed that if you turn it up into 50, the black levels get kind of like dark gray. They're not pure black anymore. For some reason, for just this little one level, one difference, it makes a huge impact in the black levels so for that reason instead of 50 just turn it down to 49 and trust me guys it does make a difference maybe not here because it's, this is a bright image but in some other uh, picture like a uh, dark scenes it does make a huge impact I don't know why the LG did this maybe they are not aware of it but it is what it is and I'm using it at 49 now sharpness I have it at zero because this is a very sharp image I don't need any more uh, additional uh, sharpness from the TV color I have it at 55 then expert control let's go over here I do have dynamic tone mapping if you turn this off this the image is going to get a lot brighter well not a lot but you do notice a difference I prefer dynamic tone mapping to be on I feel like the contrast and the black levels look beautiful like that Let's go over here, super resolution, off, auto color gamut, it's an automatic. Then over here, white balance. I have my color temperature in medium. This is the way I like it. You can switch it to cool, medium, warm one. Actually, you know what? Warm one looks pretty cool too, but medium, I feel like, uh, I don't know, I feel like the medium on this TV looks better for some reason. All right. Let's go over here, college manage, color management, I don't touch that one. Picture options, I have pretty much everything. All these enhancements for the picture is turned off. Black levels, I have it in low. If you switch it to high, you guys notice all everything gets washed out, all the black levels, so I don't use it in high. And that's pretty much it, I believe. The settings on this TV is very easy, very easy to set up everything here. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Samsung as well. They're pretty easy to use, but that's what I'm using right now, guys. Right here, playing God of War. It looks so, so nice.
This TV does such a great job upscaling. You can't win. I feel nothing. But you, you feel everything. You, you keep trying. I'm not my brother. And if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no. So now it is time to play Spider Cop right here in this beautiful looking TV. And I'm very surprised guys how sharp the image looks even though this is running at 1080p. Oh I forgot about like how cool this game feels and smooth. Oh my goodness. So yeah guys, those are the settings that I'm using. Just in case if you are want to uh, try them, let me know what you guys think. Also, if you guys have some other settings that you suggest, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for suggestions and also want to share your suggestions with the rest of whoever is watching these videos it's always cool to share everything that we have because right, I feel like we're always learning you know so now let's jump into wipe out the Omega collection this is one of my favorite games racing games because it's so colorful and also they implement HDR very good in my opinion and it's also very fast so if you like action games this is one of my favorite racing games it's available only on the PlayStation and let me tell you guys this to be fast response time it is super super good for this type of games so if you're into shooters or racers, this TV is one of the best options you can ever find. So that's it for this video guys. Let me know in the comments below if you're looking for a brand new TV this year. My recommendation is to look for prices for last year TVs because they're probably going to be dropping those prices pretty soon. Especially now since the new the new models are coming out. They usually start to come out in around April Should be around April or May That's when we're going to start seeing the new models. So also I'm looking forward to review the new uh, C10 or the CX model which is the uh, going to be the newest edition from this TV. I Honestly, I don't think there's going to be a lot of changes, but there's always something new, right? So I'm looking forward to reviewing that TV. In the meantime, I'm gonna continue playing this game, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't to this channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Jolster, Jolster out. Oh my God, Plasma. Oh, that was close. Autopilot engage. Hey guys, Joster here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any more of my upcoming videos. And also hit the notification bell. I'm working on more videos right now, so stay tuned for more. Thank you so much. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.